much more damage potential, but like you mentioned, the WD and Dazzle are much more defensive oriented. Uh, they have to make sure no one dies. Yeah, so the two one v one lanes, I think, are much more favorable for. I At least one bounty rune, if not two. Right now, the puck's in a good spot for it, but all these heroes up top for C deck it looks like they're going to be of this guaranteed this rune for Shiki. Dragonite moving in forward. The cast bouncing out of two. Pretty big damage coming out on to Faith here. He doesn't get the light striker off. Instead, he'll go down. Nice. Heal Bomb coming in from Q, now looking for one more, burning, has this Rocket Barrage, going to be able to do some good damage to Shiki, but can they get the return kill, need one more hit, and they'll get that kill, but the cost of Luo's life, he went Corrosive Skin level 1, and while that does allow him to survive a little bit longer, and going to be able to sustain pretty well on this lane here, not going to be jumping in with the screen, big damage coming into burning, they don't get the secondary cast bounce, but still dropping him very low here, nice triple life like right coming in from Faith, but there's no damage follow up just yet, Faith in fact is actually going to be dropping very low here, Malediction level 1 though, shouldn't be enough to get them to kill, in fact only taking for 35 apiece, there's the blink scream, it's a double kill, Gyrocopter walking right into it as well, Aggressive just barely gets the mana he needs to, right now, not going to be an easy kill here, Yep, let's still get the lift. The Bruzzleback is at level 2 since he has a point of discus and he has a view. Uh, they have the green coil at the very least, but uh, they're just timing it so they have the stun to make sure that he can't TP away. So they're going to follow it up. The Lysar Gray is going to be just in range, but they only need nuke damage to actually bring him down. Now Puck jaunts forward, looks for maybe a follow through, but Q finds a lucky invis pickup. Now he's going to rely on its movement speed to try to get him out of a bad spot here. Shiki coming out of the smoke. The orb phase has to come out immediately. He will get the jaunt away, but they still get the two stuns, the nukes, and the kill. Fairy Dragon goes down. Now... And uh, although like he'll be dead. running back, he has no tower to run to. If he's not he's TPing dead. right now, he's dead. And yeah, they're going to be able to verge and find that opening. So good pick up here. No reinforcements whatsoever. And Luo will be going down despite the mechanism. So very nice pick up. And he actually buys out an Ogre Club. So he's looking towards that Agadim Scepter sooner rather than moving up the ramp. And so they're actually just going to go for the Ancients. They know that he's been, uh, they've been dewarding it diligently. So they're going to look for their opening. And it looks like they'll get in range for the coil. So XZ now caught out of position. But there are going to be three heroes. A big Sonic Wave coming through. The mechanism to counteract it. And a Sonic Wave the other way. Chuan with a massive steal is going to let them win this fight. The Light Striker Ray bringing Shiki low. But he is going to pop his magic stick and try to just bottle himself away. In the end, he can't get the distance. They lose the Witch Doctor and the Dragonite in exchange for the puck. But what a spell steal from Chuan. Dr. Oh, is he? So now we're going to see Faith getting caught out here by XZ. Going to get another Viscous Nasal Goo on top of him, but it's actually going to be burning the turn on here with the, sh the Shadow Wave. Ferrari looking for the double Dream Coil. Big connect there. XZ popping the coil early. Q going down before he can grave. XZ turns his back as best he can, but still slowed heavily by the call down. And Luo pops the Viper Strike. Now going to be seeing the Death Ward come through. Aggressive wants a Sonic Wave, but he's going to have to wait for it as the Aegis gets popped by that big Laguna. So we're going to be seeing the the Queen of Pain blink out, XZ still on the run, cast flying through, and it looks like they're going to walk away with that. So, yeah, if they can find a pickup, but well, we're going to see a Central War come through. Now Faith gets hit by the Dragon Tail, and they have all these BKBs to fight with. going to be massive damage coming out from C deck, and all IG can do is run. Two golden heroes they have to get away from. Shadow Strike stolen, not going to do too much. Going to get the Viper Strike at least That's onto aggressive. Okay. That's actually yeah. okay. Two yeah, yeah. Should be able to... To oh wow! Solo kill actually. For the fourth, the Bristol the BKB TP, but the same thing that taking a lot of damage on that tier bit was. Mm, Cheeky's gonna be taking some hits. They're gonna be glimmered out onto the Sentry Ward. They're still gonna get some distance. The call down will only hit on the Witch Doctor, and they will at least look to get one hero out of this with the Viper Strike Laguna Blade, but it's not the one they wanted. At least they will kind of play a delay of game cards, make it so the C deck can't push the base now, and the they are not hesitating. They can get the weave here on the dazzle in just three seconds, and this will give them a significant team fight advantage, just mitigating all the damage received. They get the weave here onto everybody but the Queen of Pain, and that's gonna be a lot of armor flowing to the Dragonite here. He's already rocking a nearly 40 armor. And he's going to be getting even more now. We're going to see the BKB popped out by Burning, popping the flat cannon call down, doing what he can. But XZ just stands and delivers, looks for the bashes. They're slowing him down with the blue dragon form. The Death Ward comes out onto Luo, and they are just keeping them back, fighting in the coil. And we have no need to retreat. They'll take one Rex, they'll take a second. And uh, they're going to pick off the Dragonite, I mean the Pucket.
Oh, could be, could be. Ferrari gonna be able to get the Yules off, but can't get the blink out in time. He gets bashed, he gets cast. They don't even have to hop the Abyssal to get that kill and get a free Man, gem. It's a, it is a gem as well, it's yeah. huge for them. And they're just gonna go right here into the bottom of three. No problem. Like, they know they can goes out front line and Kiki goes in with the silver edge, breaks the corrosive skin of the Viper, and melts him down the freaking mech. Now we're gonna see the bottom lane rack completely decimated this, this and burning. Yeah, yeah burning yeah, has to literally fight 3v5 here. And he doesn't this have the Divine Rapier just yet. He was looking for it, but he hasn't found it yet. Off the BKB, going in, fall down, come through. Right clicking on Progressive, but look, he just gets abyssal. He gets hit by the Death Ward, and he will go down. That's the GG. That's IG. Dropping to the lower bracket. C deck are able to make it happen in the end. 43 minutes, a 25,000 net worth advantage, 20,000 in experience. Partridge in a pear tree, C deck take it away. They are able to execute well with two, two really beefy frontliners and the most heal intensive supports you can have behind them. They yeah. really just never lost traction.